we build small, very capable satellites. They're able to perform the tasks which many other larger satellites take a lot more systems and, and equipment to do. They're small, but presumably they're cheaper. They're smaller, they're cheaper, right. and they work more efficiently. For the very large satellites, they may be in the order of billions of dollars. Whereas uh, for one of our satellites, you can expect to pay a minimum of around 10 million pounds. The lower cost and the ease of launch means that we can build multiple satellites and put them in what's called a constellation. So a constellation means that you can then see the satellites more regularly. They can provide more data. What sort of difference is that making to people on the ground? Well, currently, very large satellites, they may give you a regional or a countrywide overview. Uh, however, what they don't always provide is the information of what's happening right on your doorstep. So the in-field information that farmers can use on a day-to-day -day basis to understand exactly what's happening. Well, like what? What sort of information do these satellites provide? Well, the satellites see things that our eyes can't see. They can inform us about risks to crops help us grow the crops more efficiently and, and better, and also reduce the cost of growing crops. So what have we got here? So this is our uh, flight assembly areas. This is where we assemble our solar arrays. Okay. In orbit, these are the only source of power for the spacecraft. So really, this is one of the most important bits, if not it's the most important bit, because if, if this doesn't work, nothing works. Nothing works, is the, the heart of the satellite. Yeah. So what have we got going on here? In the past when we had smaller volumes, this, all, this assembly of each individual printed circuit board used to be done by hand. Uh, obviously we're producing much larger volumes now, so we have to look at an automated technique. The boards themselves, yep. what are they used for? Um, so they, they all form the basic functions on the spacecraft. So it could be the onboard computer, uh, it could be the system that keeps the, the, um, the spacecraft stable in orbit right. as well. This area is essentially where all those little building blocks come together to form the, uh, the spacecraft itself. So this is the satellite? This is ultimately the satellite that will be launched into orbit. I'm, I'm actually looking, you know, the lens reflecting my beautiful face at the moment, that is the camera. That is the camera. The camera that is now here in Surrey will eventually be in space taking pictures of us. will be in space in a few months time, yeah. Fantastic. With a population predicted to grow from 160 million today to over 400 million by 2050, one country which has been working closely with the team here to improve food security is Nigeria. We have some challenges. Uh, all along, the size of Nigerian farms are quite small. And what it means is that for the kind of satellite we had before, uh, it's almost uh, very difficult to see small size farms. Working with the Ministry of Agriculture and do a land evaluation, provide maps for Nigerian farmers so that uh, you know, more and more people can be encouraged into agriculture. About 35% of the land is being used for agriculture at the moment. Uh, it's, it's a possibility to increase you know, uh, cultivation of our land substantially to about 45-50%. Uh, Working with engineers from the Nigerian Space Agency, two satellites have been launched which are feeding back agricultural data in unprecedented detail. What I'm showing you here is a satellite image that was acquired by the Nigeria a satellite named NigeriaSat2. Right. This is actually the, the higher resolution image right. that you can see here. Okay. Um, so in this particular case, you've got, um, you've got roads running along the image, and you can see in between all of these strips of green, which are agricultural holdings. Mm -hmm. These are actually rice paddies. But in that image, there's a lot of information that the human eye can't actually see. What we can do is we can analyse that to give us an understanding of right. the, the, the virility of the crops. Right. So when they're full of chlorophyll, you see this bright green colour, right. which means that they're very healthy. So chlorophyll is important because that's what enables photosynthesis, isn't it? But precisely. So the, uh, the sign that there's a lot of chlorophyll means that the plants are growing very quickly or that there's a lot of vegetation there. In this case, with the rice crop, it means that the rice has come above the water and you can see all of the leaves, which then reveal there's a lot of rice there. So if I was a farmer, owned this land, I'd immediately know I've got a bit of a problem in the sort of left-hand corner <laughs> there of my picture. I've got to better go sort that out. Yeah, exactly. And it, it actually enables you to see um, within every single field even how the performance is within the field. So a technology which really has the ability to revolutionise farming, I mean, this sort of application. Absolutely. Uh, this applied regularly can massively improve the productivity of the fields and therefore the food security of the region.